Well, they'll be calling you a radical. It doesn't matter if we get 212 views or 2 million. What I've learned over the years, the fewer the better. When I used to get 30,000 views a video, fucking, I spent literally all my time policing fucking trolls. Policing, I mean, and I've learned the sheep mentality, the more the fucking worse they are. So, this first historic day, not in infamy, this famous, famous day. Oh, the 6th this year of January. Oh, that'll live in infamy. What's today? Today is the first day in world history that nuclear weapons are illegal. Of course, the United States of usury. London Liz's, you know, colony. The Great Weasel Nation, Canada. Australia, Israel, they're like, how about Japan? <laughs> so apparently, the news of the 2021 Olympics death, demise has greatly been exaggerated. Oh, has it? Oh, has it? Anyone make any bets on this one? I like how you think this vaccination is just going to put an end to all this. No, it's not. You'll just get another one because of Fukushima. Stop the cover-up of Fukushima now. So this is a great story. And I want to, first off, thank you to Paul Mobley up there. Paul Mobley has been doing videos and he's been breaking down and outing these teams of trolls. He's got it broken down who they are, where they are. And I could write a whole book and I will write a whole book. These are uh, Edelman in Calgary, Metadata in Los Angeles. This was a team. This is paid by the United States, funded by the NEI, funded by San Onofre, the nuclear reactors at San Onofre. And by the way, Kamala Harris knows that the owners of San Onofre hired fucking trolls to attack Kevin Blanche. And this funded, one of the main trolls is fucking, used to work there. He got fired. Anyway, so the, they've hired him, so... I'll write a whole book on this fucking, whoo, talk about a fucking set, well, talk about crimes, why I'm full in critical condition. Every one of these trolls that went after me, paid, needs to be law. it's a felony to attack a fucking person in fucking critical condition full of cancer, but no one seems to give a fuck, because he's, he just wants to save you from you, just save the fucking world. So... Kevin Blanche, Bob Beeman Blanche, world record, dead tight pool fucking jumper. I'm the world record holder. Fucking no one even comes close. So, 2021 games. I'll keep training in the La Jolla training facility, in the fucking Monterey training facility. I'll keep training all up and down the California fucking dead tight pool jumping fucking club. Nobody seems to want to fucking join in and help out, but I'll do all your fucking dirty work. Oh, and I'm a fool to do your dirty work. Look what I got. Lawyers have a saying. No good deed goes unpunished. <laughs> uh, the deeds I've done talk about punished on Balco, on chemo. Now, I want to say this to Durnford. Dana, Trump did this to you. Trump killed net neutrality. So what they're using, they're using on the Internet, they're using what they call a kettling technique. And if you don't know what that is, well, I'm the one that turned it the kettling technique, but kettling, they're using, it's beyond shadow banning. They can't just kill your site, so they've got you buried so fucking deep that no one can find you. In fact, it even takes your, your army, one, to find it. I mean, it's almost impossible to find us. But that's okay, because that's like a research PhD. Now, I want to get to these subject matters. This is real important for our army and our crowd. So BYU now says they're building a database to fucking go through fucking death certificates of the Spanish flu. Now remember, BYU is the same ones that lobbied in the state of Utah. And if you don't think I know, I know. I fought them. I fought them to the now. You don't think I have connections at BYU? Look up fucking my auntie, you know, who raised me, who mentored me. Yeah, that great writer, May Blanche, the English department. They're going to name it after her. She fucking raised me right here. I mean, she mentored me. Obama K. Brody's friend. 
Those fuckers changed the laws in Utah to block the death certificates. And I've been screaming this all the time. How are you going to see? So you and BYU, okay, 1918, that's okay. You can go back and research. But we're not going to be able to hear. And I know this for a fact. I was in the bone marrow transplant center fucking dying. I had a fit. It's everybody's business what fucking somebody dies of. And now you want to fucking say you want to profit from the death in 1918. Okay. It's a good fucking base. I, I, for, well, what about now? You fucking killed it. My friend died of AML. He's a big gun tone. Yeehaw. <laughs> yeah, you fucking did a careful gang of blood. One of those fuckheads. My age. Fucker got the same disease as me. AML leukemia. At light the night, I see his sister. I says, what the fuck are you doing here? Well, you know, Randy fucking died of fucking... What? That's not what the obituary said. The obituary said he died of natural causes and was going to see fucking Jesus on his birthday. And I says, not, he died on Christmas. I says, Jesus was born on April 6th. Aren't you a Mormon? That's what the Mormons say. They don't even know their own fucking theology. You know, I'm friends with the Mormon historians. I spoke at their councils. They're like, Kevin, you're the man... I'm like, the Hunsaker mail, you forgot your socialistic roots. And I like how the GLP right now, for all you young people, are pseudo de facto going about debt. <laughs> wink, wink, tax the future. Nobody's run more debt than the GLP in fucking history. Kids, we, we call it as, in the academia world, it's called the Great Conservative Movement from 1980 to present. Congress makes a lot. They control Congress fucking 90% of this fucking debtor's hell. 90% of the fucking 40-year cycle. And they, well, they had fucking two Democrat presidents. Those weren't Democrats. Bill Walmart Clinton. Fuck. Best money GOP could fucking buy. Barry Antoinette, the greatest fucking neocon conservative Dick Cheney's cousin in history. So, this is important. We're going to party like it's 1999. The debt, there was no debt in 1980. There was no fucking debt. Went in ugly. That's what the fucking GLP said the whole time. Went in ugly. Well, I got news for you. I'm fucking Eddie Murray. Told you to fuck off. This is 1983, the White Sox. Fucking LaRusso, I always hated that fucker. <laughs> How about that titanic shot fucking Eddie Murray hit fucking game three out of the fucking stadium? Go Bills, by the way. Weber State, great, 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 great. Not University of Utah. Play of the century was a young man from Weber State. Not the University of Utah. Not BYU. Not even Utah State of Hate. Weber State. Black ball me. By the way, they got a hell of a basketball team this year. They're fucking good. I'm, you know, COVID-19. So... Let me get this. In DC, this is important for you guys. I'm on it. I'm already talking to fucking staffers. I'm already talking to fucking Kamala Harris's people, Biden's people. That came from the wall. So, you'll love this story. This is an incredible fucking story. So, I'm standing with Medea Benjamin. Her husband took the fucking photographs, thank you, because I got to tell him. And, you know, I freaking adore her. I love her. She's called Pink. One of the true, and she's about... The real reason I told her, I says, you know, the reason I really like you so much is because when I stand next to you, you're the only person I know that makes me look tall. I'm five foot eight and a half. So... I'm standing with her in front of the White House that Saturday and I'm having a fit. I'm throwing, you know, waving my flag. I'm on the fucking National Fox News, National ABC. And I'm everywhere. Being interviewed, going crazy. They're going to wait to call this election at halftime of the Super Bowl. Her husband. So they just called it. And you could see it. And it, I mean, I got to be in it. I was. Wow, and not because of Biden. I'm not a Biden guy. No, it was an anti-Trump because I'm an anti. I'm an environmentalist. I'm an anti-nuker. This is from the peace vigil. Nobody attacked the environment fucking harder than Trump. Nobody fucking gave more nuclear pork than Trump. Nobody. Nobody. Not even Obama could fucking equal his fucking record. So, I'm fucking thrilled. You know, we were doing an interview talking about 
you know, the war machine. And I was speaking about San Onofre at the time. I said, don't tell me, because he told us we lost every war fight. He says, oh, no. We kipped over the fucking thing at San Onofre with the help from Kamala Harris, by the way. Yeah. I mean, she went after him viciously. She was the AG in California. I was in the bone marrow transplant dying of leukemia. And bad timing for the San Onofre rats, and now they've hired PR trolls to go after me. Illegally, fuck them. So... I walk up to the liquor store to get me a bottle of champagne to celebrate. I'm standing in line, and a young guy says, You're Kevin Blanche. Saw you on the news last night. I saw you on the news the night before. Yeah, he says, I used to watch your videos. I got to tell you, you influenced my life a tremendous amount. I says, I did? Yeah, I'm a lobbyist here. I work for a lobbyist foundation. I work here in the up on the hill. And we're working on cleaning up Hunter's Point right now. We're doing, you know, there's a lot that's going on. But I says, well, Trump's blocking. Oh, yeah, but that'll change. And he says, with this, I says, I hope. So we got together. We went in on a bottle of champagne together. You know, I corked it, dumped it on my head, chugged it. Smoked a cigar, and I don't drink much, you know. Drank a couple, shotgunned a couple fucking beers with some chick in the streets on Black Lives Avenue, right where the Million Mass March was invented. Long live Michael Pendleton, long live Sarah, long live all these beautiful activists, their past. Long live the beautiful activists in Baltimore. By the way, Saved by the Bell, we're praying for you. He has small cell. It's one brutal fucking nasty cancer. You can call me. I was given two months to live with a cancer. Just as every evil as yours, you can do this. You know, young diamond. Fight. And he's already made that choice to fight, which is a big step. If you make the choice to fight, most people don't. It's a big step. So I talked to him yesterday, and he hooked me up with this woman. I've got a contact now, and we were discussing Savannah River, the Moxfield Fairy Tale, $29 billion loot job, which they never had, Arriva, fucking all of them, fucking Chicago Bridge and Iron, bankrupt. He went to Jared Westinghouse. She says, yeah, I've seen a few of your videos. I've learned a lot from you. She says, I says, is Biden going to pull the fucking plug on Savannah River? Oh, yes, absolutely. Trump? plugged it back in. You do know that. Remember Rick Perry was going to make a sex again? Now you know why I hate Trump so fucking bad. Trump was the most pro-nuclear fucking energy anti-environment. And by the way, until we end the cover-up of Fukushima, end it now! Biden, say it! Say it, Biden! Don't be fucking Obama and fucking Trump, the two worst presidents in U.S. history. Fukushima, Fukushima, Fukushima. And I want to say this to our crowd, to the, you know, the nukers. They have, all, we are few, they are many. They have all the money, we have nothing. They have all the fucking internet power. They fucking could do whatever they want to us. But we have the truth. And hang in there. And one word, really, this is it. The argument, and that's what I told her, I told him. The argument ended on March 11th. 2011. The argument's over. There is no argument. Pull the plug on it all. All of it. So the UN, I can't, I will. Banning nuclear weapons, it's a start. The US, a debtor's nation. Fucking willing out of control. Pandemic raging. Fucking unemployment. Fucking off the hook. Homeless. It's a fucking shithole. Toxic hellhole. Stock market makes all time highs. Never forget that. Debt. Rob the future, give to my friends. So, we are family. It's 1979. Kiko Garcia, what a, he's from Martinez, California. Who's that? He would have been the MVP in 79, but those, we are family. <laughs> Scargo, speaking of hit one out, he hit two out of Dodger Stadium, and he was the opposing team. I mean, over the facade. By the way, I want to say this to... The great young pitcher who Cash and not Johnny fucked. He finally came out yesterday. Blake came out yesterday and says, We handed the Dodgers the World Series on the silver. No shit. That piece of shit, Cash. He had a two hitter. He was pitching he was
pitching Don Drysdale stuff. He was pitching Sandy Koufax stuff. He was pitching fucking the stuff of Mike Boddicker, 1983. And they pulled him on a computer, analyticals. <laughs> wow. You think Tommy Lasorda would have pulled Don Sutton? You think Tommy Lasorda would have pulled Oral Hershiser? <laughs> Joe Morgan, fucking Lou Brock. Bob Gibson, all of them gone this year. This is a brutal, wicked fucking disease that's ravishing this country, and it's from Fukushima. There's no doubt in my mind. My work has proven it. Just remember, you got beat. So, by the way, Eddie Murray's the one that taught me how to tell the media to fuck off. Remember he wouldn't do interviews? The greatest fucking player in fucking Major Bake Licks had top 10 that you never heard of. Oh, I can switch it. I can go. I'm working on that left. First day. It's historic. They're going to pull the plug on Savannah River. They need to pull the plug on the fucking new scale fucking, right? And fuck, BYU. You lobbied. You lobbied. It's nobody's business. I'm all over to die to die. It's everybody's fucking business. I mean, that's how they play. Same with Hippola. So... We're going clear back to party like in 1999, you know. Really, we're going back to, we need to go back to 1979. Put the tax rate back where it was in 79. Put it all back when the middle class had and we had this healthy fucking Americana. Oh, Three Mile Island, Lake Barrett fucking in charge of the cover-up. What? Fukushima Lake, it took Lake Barrett on 60 minutes, 3,000 days to tell you what Kevin Blanche told you in one hour. Fucking, so this is a big deal. Dead tide pool jumping. I'll be back at it. Dead well watching. And this is for our little fucking army. You know, contemporary sheep, they're worthless anyway. They're going to just fucking, they're regurgitating minor birds. Whatever the narrative gets put out, they just regurgitate it. Huh, socialism, communism, socialism, communism, uh, 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 Black Panthers, Hillary, bad, that's close to bad. Fuck. Uh, Barry Antoine, Ed Obama, they do the same thing on the left. But we'll see. We'll see. The clock. It's on your. The clock's on, Biden. The clock's on. Say it. End the cover up of Fukushima now. Stop all fucking nuclear fucking energy. Kill it and lock everybody that covered it up. Fucking Trump and Obama for prison. Stand to.